Welcome, welcome to the Bike Man for You with another exciting video on uh, inexpensive or cheap bikes. Getting a lot of comments on our videos about Walmart bicycles, Pacific bicycles in, 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 in direct. Uh, Schwinn made by Pacific. This is a Schwinn Sidewinder. Winder. How do I adjust the brakes, Bike Man? What's going on? All right, well... This bicycle here has been sitting outside, so we have to hit it with a grain of salt a little bit because the outside elements definitely take its toll. The rear brake on this bicycle doesn't seem to be returning very fast. It's kind of all slow, and it looks like there might be a problem with the cable. I am betting that there is some corrosion in the cable, and we need to replace the cable. Come on around to the other side. Let's see what we got. The first step with any of these bicycles that uh, you know, I want to get. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go with a new cable. I just. I know I gotta do it. I'm gonna snip it with a pair of dikes. Usually now, this is what happens here. What happens is that the cable is sitting right here, and the moisture hits on here, and it drips down, and it drips down, and it drips down, and it sits right in here. And this cable gets a little corroded and gooky. We're gonna find out here in a half a second when I unleash this bad boy and uh, it doesn't the cable doesn't run nice and smooth in the casing so we're gonna replace it but let's see what kind of gook is inside of this thing oh yeah you can see the white powdery film and ha look at how it's coming right off of my fingers so she's definitely getting corroded and what happens is is inside of this it gets corroded in there and it just expands it ever so much so that it doesn't run very nicely. The brake is going to return a lot better after we get some lube and a nice brand new cable. But one of the questions that I've been having is they, they have problems and we're going to go to the front. Yeah, that thing is really corroded up badly. You can see the difference. Look at the difference from like right there where it was protected a little bit to over here. Definitely. You got that, Sonoma? Mm -hmm. Alright, come on around to the front. The front of the bicycle has the same exact brace, brake on it, but it doesn't have any place where the moisture to be able to sit. So consequently, this brake actually works pretty good. It, it, it returns very quickly. You can see how quickly it comes up back. But one of the sides isn't working very good at all, as you can see. This side's working pretty good. This side's stinkeroo. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to increase your spring tension. And it's got this little screw on this side. It has the same screw on this side as well. But I don't, this side is working just fine. This side is the side that the problem is, and I'm going to increase my spring tension by screwing that screw in. And that's going to make that spring hopefully return. We get a little bit more. Still, a little bit tough. I'm almost all the way in with this screw. What do I do now, bike man? I am. I'm all the way in. If I go in anymore, I'm going to strip it, and it's still, it's kind of working, but not that great. Real simple, real easy. I got a blemish in this tire. Look at that. The bad news. We'll take care of that later, but let's just worry about the brake right now. This arm is still not cutting it. All right. Some of your bicycles have a spring that come up the side, and this one does. Here is a, this is a trick of the trade. You're going to remove that spring. Did you get that there? Did you see how I'm using a little bladed screwdriver? I'm just pushing down on it a little bit. And just careful because it'll flick out and it'll bunk you in the nose if you're not careful. I'm going to back off on that screw again a little bit here because what I'm about to do is I'm about to get a little violent here and it's going to be good for the brake. We're going to give this, be this spring a little bit of a bend job. And the way I do it is I'll get in here like that, and I'm going to grab there, okay, here to here. And then I'm just going to give that thing a little tweak down. I'm pushing back, and I'm pulling down. It's tough. you got to give a little, you know, all right? And then I'm going to force that right back into its little hole there, okay? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my golly. Look at how that brake is working. Now it's too much. I got too much action going on on that bad boy. But, boy, up here, up at the lever, it's nice and boom, it snaps, snaps right back. We really increase that spring tension. Bend those springs out just a hair. Things work a lot better. So I'm just going to back off a hair on this a little bit more. Uh, even maybe a little bit more. 
let me increase the other side just a hair again you can play with it one side the other side but if you have to give that spring a little benderoo i might have to benderoo the other side You know what? I'm gonna bend the root the other side right now. I'm gonna back off again on that. I'm gonna, one more time, all right guys? Take a flat bladed screwdriver, give it a little pressure and get it out of there. Whoops. Don't put the screwdriver through the tire, whatever you do. I've done that once. Here and here. <clears throat> Gotta grunt a little. <clears throat> here we go. Boom. All right, we're chasing this thing a little bit, but we're doing good. Definitely a lot better. Once you find your happy medium of your spring tensions, you're good. Now this wheel is a little out of whack, plus it's got a little bubble in it, but you get the idea. I gotta go back and fix those things. Now we got nice even action on both sides. We're gonna string up a nice new cable in the back, put on a new tire, true up these wheels, and these brakes are gonna be a lot better. But that's a little helpful hinted tip. Bend out those springs a little bit. It'll help you out to get that spring, that brake to release itself. Have fun and never fear. The bike man for you is here.